All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash, the water Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, for giving us the spirit of truth in these last days. All right, which the world cannot receive. Double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, who are going to tell us it's 100% truth according to the Bible, by the Dom. Peace, love, and salutations to this corner of Ahim. Shalom to the rest of the predestined elect. I want to do a quick lesson. All right, um, make this, you know, quick Lord's will, edifying to the elect. Going into, uh, as you can see, the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, right in the blood, Elder Apostle Gabar, uh, to the far right. All right, uh, elders and apostles, the, the elder bishops, okay, of uh, Connecticut. All right, now I'm getting down in the spirit, you know, as, um, I was uh, watching, you know, where I came across this uh, part as the elders were getting down the spirit, going into vowing to the Lord. And I just wanted to bring out the etymology or have it queued up to where Elder Apostle Gabar starts to go through the spirit and, and, all right, and bring out beautiful edification, uh, building on this vow that we made coming into this truth, all right, coming into this knowledge, this understanding, all right, crossing over into... Uh, serving the Lord. Okay, so before I get the etymology of a few scriptures, I'm going to go ahead and let the beloved elder, Apostle Gabar, all right, uh, edify, Lord willing. All right, this is a uh, building, all right, edifying to you sinship believers, con uh, consisting of you, uh, you Akim Wa Akwaf, all right, which is brothers and sisters in the Hebrew, okay, which we are the Hebrew Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Okay, so go ahead and play it. Galim Lashwan Kordash. We speak in the language of Canaan, especially when we call upon the name of the Heavenly Father and the Son. And it makes it a big deal. Because at one time, we didn't have this. Was, the Lord said we was going to discontinue from our heritage. Right, right. So now, and, 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 and right in America, now we're five, which is the brothers and camps. Yep. <laughs> it's just more than five. It's just a number. Yeah, it's a number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. So yeah. that's heavy, man. Yeah, yeah. That's powerful, man. That's heavy, powerful, man, because we. We discontinued, all of us, man. We all fell away. The scriptures say we all fall short of the glory of the Lord. The scriptures speak about breaking one commandment, you break them all, and we all are guilty of breaking the laws. That's commandments of the Heavenly Father, which leads to the um, the understanding of why we needed a perfect sacrifice to make us whole. Perfect to the Heavenly Father. Mashiach Yahweh that is, the mediator, okay, the intercessor. Okay, the, the holy uh, sacrifice, all right, without spot, without blemish, acceptable, okay, to make us whole because we all went off, man. And with, that, with us going off, we, we fell away, we, we've been scattered, all right, okay, we've been separated, divided, conquered, all right. So it's, a, it's powerful, it's heavy that we, in 2024, have this truth, starting off with the names of Yahweh, Wai, Yahweh Shai, the Lashon Kadash. All right, the ancient tongue, the holy tongue, the name of the heavenly father and his only begotten son, it starts there. And from that, all right, the Lord, Yahweh Shai, all right, takes you on a journey of knowing who, all right, you are and what this whole thing is all about, man, being the truth. Okay? So that's the prophecy, yeah? yeah. All right, somebody should ask the, the great leader of the IUIC, explain this prophecy here. Right. Since you say we don't have the Hebrew, since you said we're gonna get in, in the kingdom. Right. <laughs> that's what you said, right? Which don't make no goddamn sense, okay? Mm -hmm. The Lord is bringing us back to our, our nationality. He's gonna bring us back to our language, man. That's part of our nationality. We have our nationality, our language, and the names of the Heavenly Father, all right? And with that, we are commanded, all right, to keep these things until, all right, until the end, whatever it is, okay? Which we're gonna get those scriptures, all right? Hebrew Israelites. Yeah. So it says, In that day shall five cities in the land of Egypt speak the language of Canaan and swear to the Lord of hosts. Now, when we come into this truth, what are we do? We're making a vow. We swear to the Lord of hosts. We, we swear to do what? To do what the Hawabar Shem Yahshai say to do. Not look back. Right. And not look back. All right. So that's why I'm doing this lesson. Coming into this truth and this understanding. All right. We swear unto the Lord Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai, as the scriptures say, all right, that we would do what Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai says, which is so called Negro, so called black man, the Heavenly Father, 
those only begot the Son un, uh, until the end and not look back. So the word vow is a solemn promise to now 1300s, early 1300s. All right, and it reads, uh, solemn promise. Solemn is what? Serious. Just get this real quick. Solemn, performed with due, religious, which just worship. All right, reverence, worship, all right. Sacred, holy, all right, devout it, all right. Uh, to religious observance. Once again, religious means just worship, all right. Okay, we worship Yahweh Bashem Yahushua, the supreme being, the father of spirits. The Ancient of Days is one of his titles, the Holy One of Israel. All right, a so-called black man, the, uh, the, the, the Jake of all Jakes, man. All right, the father of Jacob, okay? The Holy One of Jacob, Mighty One of Jacob, thus saith the scriptures, you see? So this is also of a vow made under religious sanction binding. So we bind, all right, fix, all right, unbroken, complete, whole. Okay, so let's go back to word vow, solemn promise, all right, a complete unbroken promise, okay? Just like when you marry, uh, so-called marriage in today's uh, terms, all right, you know, via the paperwork of ESO, you know, well, guess what? Coming into this truth, you're, you're joining yourself unto this knowledge, this truth, the understanding of Yahweh Bashem Shah. You're, you're being joined in, all right, uh, the word lawyer. Okay, the, the, our forefather lawyer, okay, which means what? Joined unto me, all right? Joined unto, joined unto me. So we're joined unto the Lord by what? The law, statute, and commandments. It's the vow that we promised our forefathers, solemnly promised that they would keep, and they broke it, man. But through the mercy of the Lord, all right, we have what? His only begotten son come down to establish a better covenant, all right? And through his blood, we will be made, all right, uh, one with the Heavenly Father, starting off with the elect, brought back together in a new body to where we can never go off and break our vow. All right, but it says, a promise to God, Yahweh Shem Shai, solemn pledge, dedication, that which is promised, a wish, desire, longing, prayer. All right, to promise, solemn pledge, dedicate. All right, to speak, solemn, vow, preach, one who offers a sacrifice. And the scriptures say, present your body as a living sacrifice. Greek, ek, ek, you, all right, vow, wish, ek, may, I pray, all right. That's the importance of prayer, praying to the Lord daily, consistently. And, all right, and this is the point of, of uh, me getting this word here. Vow the meaning solemn engagement to devote oneself to a religious order or life. So we have made a serious, unbroken, complete engagement to devote ourselves, devout men, to a worship order or life. So once again, coming into this truth, we made a vow to the Lord. So let's get that scripture. Okay, and this is why wisdom, all right, is, you know, supreme, reign supreme, man. We have the wisdom, knowledge, understanding of, of, of all things, man, through the spirit part of society. Of our true engagement, the scriptures, all throughout the scriptures speak about the marriage of the lamb, likened unto a chaste virgin, all right? I have espoused you to one husband. The scriptures say, the, the Lord, most high, you from shy, is thy creator, thy maker, thy husband, all right? Why? Because the head of every man is Yahweh Shai, and the head of uh, Yahweh Shai is the Most High. Okay, and the head of a woman is a man, so it's the order of how of how things were done, all right, in the ancient world. But this is getting ready to be established on a whole new level. All right, Psalm 65 and verse uh, 1. Most High, Yahweh, abundant favor to earth, amen. To the chief musician, a psalm of a, and song of David, praise waiteth for thee, O power, in Zion, and unto thee shall the vow be performed. All right? O thou that hearest prayer, unto thee shall all flesh uh, come. So once again, the vow is being performed, and our prayers are going up to the Lord to establish us as that tabernacle of David that has fallen. But this time, complete, unbroken. And that's going to be by the way of uh, this third temple being built which is a spiritual temple 
us being joined together in the spirit, okay, which is a, a, a great family reunion that's taking place. Brothers that's coming from all walks of life, whether locked up, whatever it is, man, it don't matter. One thing that we all have in common is the fear and the respect and reverence and worship and vow that we made to Yahweh Shah. Psalm 76 and verse 10. Surely the wrath of men shall praise thee, the remainder of, of wrath shall thou restrain. Vow and pay unto the Lord your power. Let all that be round about him bring presents unto him that ought to be feared. He shall cut off the spirit of princes. He is terrible to the kings of the earth. But the point is, verse 11 in the NLT. Make vows to the Lord your power and keep them. You see that? Let everyone bring tribute to the awesome one. All right. All right. Let me get this one here in um, Ecclesiastes 5 and verse 4. When thou vowest a vow unto the Most High, defer not to pray uh, to pay it. Yeah. So we vow. We vow with what? With our life. And it said, defer not to pay it, being what? Sacrifice. All right. You have to. You have to pay, being what? By your life. All right, uh, the, the sacrifice that you bring, the gift that you bring to uh, to the Lord, the sacrifice you bring. All right, via you. All right, all right. Okay, then. Amen. It says, for he have no pleasure in fools. Pay that which thou hast vowed. So we'll read this in the NLT. When you make a promise to the Most High, going back to the vow and the etymology, a solemn promise to the Most High, don't delay in following through. All right, for the Most High takes no pleasure in fools. Keep all the promises you make to him. All right, and once again, going back to this lesson, we have vowed coming into this truth that with our life, we will serve Yahweh Bashim Shah and do what he says, which this is the whole duty of man. So let me take it back a few seconds. Nationality, he gonna bring us back to our language, man. That's part of our nationality. Hebrew Israelites. Yeah. So it says, In that day shall five cities in the land of Egypt speak the language of Canaan and swear to the Lord of hosts. Now, when we come into this truth, what are we do? We're making a vow. We swear to the Lord of hosts. We, we swear to do what? To do what Yahweh Shem Yahshai yeah. said to do. Not look back. Right. So we're performing a vow. Yeah. Did, uh, did, did, being in this knowledge is true. Whether you brothers know it or not, you've been called into this thing. Once you get into it, you made a vow. Yeah, you are accountable. And, and there's a scripture I'd like you to get it. When thou, when thou, uh, uh, when thou uh, performance of vow. Yep. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Because those of you that came into this and you fell out for whatever reason, guess what? You didn't kept. You didn't keep the vow. Right. So the scriptures speak about you should not make a foolish vow. Okay. Right. And that's what we do in this lesson, man. Vow unto the Lord. All right. A solemn promise. So I'm going to close out in Revelation 2 and verse uh, 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Yeah, because we're, of course, we're, all right, uh, detaching ourselves from uh, evil. So we're making ourselves a prey. The scriptures say, he that departed from evil, which this earth is greatly all right, uh, covered in gross darkness, great evils. So we're departing from that, making ourselves a prey. So we're going to suffer by default, all right? Whether it's uh, dealing with people in the world, people not understanding you, all right? You're pretty much what they say in the world, going against the grain, all right? Well, because we're leaning, we're leaning on Yahweh Bashim al Shai. We, we're de devout, devoted ourselves, vowed ourselves to the Lord. So it says they're gonna, you know, come with great wrath. It does say the Bible, man. Some of us will be, all right, uh, 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 sacrifice, uh, slack it. Uh, we will be, uh, some brothers will be beheaded, okay? You know, thus said the uh, the Bible, all right? The scriptures speak about these things, man, okay? But for the majority of the elect, okay, we're gonna, all right, we're gonna be straight, man, delivered ultimately. And those that die in the Lord, they're gonna be first res uh, resurrected, man, all right? The scriptures say that they that uh, um, sleep shall be raised up first, man. So you live for the Lord, or we live, we live for the Lord, we die, we die for the Lord. Either way, we got the victory through the blood of Mashiach Yahushai, through a sacrifice that we will reign supreme on earth. 
So it says, Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison that ye may be tried. See? So it's all about a, it's a test, a trial of our faith, speak, spoken of in James, uh, the first chapter. And ye shall have tribulation ten days, which is a time period. But it, the scriptures say, Be thou faithful unto death, devoted. All right? Okay, thou unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. All right? So that's the elect, man. All right, let's get that in Second Ezra 2 real quick. And right to the point. Second Ezra 2 and verse 43. And in the midst of them being the elect, those that get saved, all right, 144,000, the one-third, Revelation, the seventh chapter goes uh, beautifully expounds on this prophecy that John on the island of Patmos did see, John the Revelator. It says, and in the midst of them, verse 43, Second Ezra 2 and verse 43, and in the midst of them, there was a young man of a high stature. That's Mashiach Yahushai, of a high stature. He's going to be taller than the rest. Taller than all the rest, the rest of the elect. And upon every one of their heads, he set crowns, those that got the victory, and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. So this is getting ready to be uh, 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 played out in these last days, man via prophecy verse 44 so i asked the angel and said sir what are these being the elect he answered and said unto me these are the men who kept that vow all the way into the end and the scriptures speak about many that stand here shall not take uh taste of death so that's a lot of brothers women and children that's not going to see death all right okay we're not looking uh, to die in this thing man now uh, you know whatever our, our last day is of course because we all have a, a dark hour coming but the Lord Yahweh Bashem is going to put the spirit on his elect to persevere. You see? So it's no, <laughs> it's already written about victory. All right. And upon every one of their heads, he set crowns and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. All right. And that crown is what? A crown of immortality, man. The crowns of the 144. All right. 12,000 out of East 12 tribes. The men predestined first fruits. All right. The ones who are superior over the class of Israel itself. All right. Verse 44. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing, which is what? This flesh. All right. This, uh, uh, this way of lifestyle. Okay. We put, we put this. We put off the old man. We put off the mortal. It says, and put on the immortal, which is what? By this word, it's truth, the gospel, the true understanding of the scriptures in the times that we're living in via biblical prophecy. And have confessed the name of the Most High. Now are they crowned and receive palms. All right, so that's the elect. Now are they, now have they confessed the name of the Most High. Now are they crowned and receive palms, man. So this is the victory. All right, this is what we, we made a vow for. To ultimately what? Receive, okay, the crown of life, man. That we just read in Revelation 2. But that's pretty much it I wanted to bring out, man. Through the Spirit of Christ, the Lord willing, this is edifying to the elect. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Akakadash. The bonus said, Apostles and elders, a great millstone, and taught us his truth, and do it well. Peace, love, and salutations to the Sakoni, while I came to the elect.